Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this short video, I'm going to talk about calcium magnesium. So let's talk about the function, first of all, of calcium. Yes, we know it's for your bones, it's for your teeth, but really it's for the muscles, the nervous system, and mainly cellular communication. It's one of the main minerals that helps the cells communicate, okay? And so many people have either too much calcium or not enough. Okay, if you have too much calcium, you have soft tissue calcium, you have uh, heel spurs, kidney stones, tartar on the teeth, hardening of the arteries, you're going to get blood pressure that goes up, you're going to get stiffness in the joints, you're going to get arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, all the itises, and that's uh, coming from too much calcium. Now, if you did not take enough magnesium with it, the calcium will build up in the body. That's why you should always take it together. So for someone that takes just straight calcium, I would never recommend that, okay? So, because you need magnesium to help mobilize and make calcium uh, function. So it controls the muscle, the nerve function, even blood clotting as well. So magnesium, on the other hand, helps the muscles relax, uh, helps the nerves transmit, especially in the heart. If you're deficient in magnesium, you'll typically have arrhythmias, atrial fib, and problems with uh, the nervous system in relationship to connection with the, with the muscle itself. It's a central nervous system brain uh, relaxer, okay, so it's great for sleeping. So, now, in order to absorb these two minerals, you need vitamin D. See, people are associated vitamin D absorption with just calcium, but you, magnesium needs it just as much as calcium. So what does vitamin D do? It helps absorb calcium magnesium by 20x in the, in the small intestines. So it absorbs it and it brings it up into the blood. Um, and by the way, as a side note, when you're deficient in vitamin D3, you can get nosebleeds and you can have excessive bleeding of the menstruation, like the menstrual cycle. So just realize one of the remedies to help heavy bleeding or nosebleeds is take some vitamin D3. You can get it from the sun or just take it as a supplement, okay? So that's what vitamin D does. It helps to transport these minerals up into the blood. But you also need it to go further into the bones, right? And to do that, you need another vitamin called vitamin K2, okay? Vitamin K2 is a fat-soluble vitamin, so is vitamin D3. So vitamin K2 is different than vitamin K1. It transports calcium from the joints from the arteries into the bone. So if you have soft tissue calcium build up, it could be that your magnesium is fine, it's just that you need vitamin K2. So how do you become K2 deficient? Well, just avoid all fats, because vitamin K2 is in all the grass-fed butter and the animal products, okay? It's also in a vegetarian product called NATO, which is a fermented soy. Make sure you get non-GMO. But the point is that vitamin K2 is essential in the full transportation of these two minerals into the right place, okay? So we need, we need these two in a certain balance, we need these two in the body, but we also need this last thing right here, which is an acidified stomach. So many people as they age, if they have heartburn, GERD, constipation, they have an alkaline stomach, it's too alkaline. They need an acidic stomach to be able to absorb these minerals. So if you have heartburn, for example, or indigestion, we know your stomach doesn't have enough acid and that valve won't close. So if the valve won't close, the acid comes up. So if you have a nice enough strong acid in your stomach, the valve closes and everything's cool. But if you have that problem, that means you don't have enough acid. So you can't mobilize these minerals and they don't really get absorbed. So what you have to do is take some apple cider vinegar pills or the actual apple cider vinegar and some water, drink it with a straw and start to acidify the body to pull these minerals into the tissues, okay? Now, what are the ratios of calcium and magnesium? Number one, um, you know, people say, well, you need two to one ratio, too much, two, ca two, uh, two times as much calcium as magnesium. Well, I disagree because so many people that I've come across, they have, I already have too much calcium. They're like, they have uh, their stiffness, they have joint issues, they have spurs, they have all sorts of calcium issues. If we dump more calcium into the body, we're going to have a problem. Unless they have osteoporosis, if they have osteoporosis, I might do a two to one. But everyone else, I would do a one to one ratio. Why? Because not very many people get enough magnesium because they don't have enough leafy greens. 
That's where you get it from, all the vegetable family. You get calcium from broccoli and other things, but realize that broccoli and uh, even kale have, they're a little bit higher in oxalates. So sometimes that might block the absorption of calcium. So, and even spinach as well. So you, that's why you need the lemon juice. I have that in the other videos. So there's a, I don't want to confuse you, but here's the point. I like to get my calcium from a little dairy. So maybe the, uh, some grass-fed, you know, cheese or something like that, and a little bit each day, and you have enough calcium. So uh, I don't like to take too much calcium. Um, but if you're going to take it, take a small amount, one-to-one -one ratio, and you can take more of it if you're doing some program or detox or, you know, you have osteoporosis or you're, maybe you're trying to sleep or get rid of a, a cramp in your calf, which that's an indication that you need this. Uh, but the point is that I want you to understand that there's a lot of different factors involved in the, the balancing of these two minerals, the absorption of these two minerals from the stomach, having the stomach pH. It's not just a matter of, oh, I'm going to take this vitamin because someone told me to take it. You have to think with it and take it when you need it, and so you're not taking too much. All right, so I just wanted to kind of review all that. I'll put some notes below, and definitely... Um, uh, continue to watch my videos and make comments below. I'll see you in the next video.